Hello and welcome back. Now I did a bit of testing yesterday. I did off camera just to make sure that there's very, very many problems with this and there is even with what I am going to suggest what, what we're doing. Now there are many sort of things we can do. We can do a baler. We can do one of those little little balers for 30 grand which is going to leave us very short. Or we can there's a few other options of going to balers that are using the small bales and there are also those that actually do them where they drop bales into here they all have their own unique problems one of them is the horsepower of this is only just actually it is higher than the horsepower of the thing but because it has to draw the trailer to this dis doesn't manage i did test it i literally did because i thought yeah, what, what, where are we going to do it? Also, it's, I would need to go around the edge of the field and grab all of the outer ones and re-windrow the outer ones so that it's about level with here, otherwise you're never going to get it. And then I have got to look out of the sort of window to make sure that I'm where, with the windrow, because obviously using first person perspective also makes certain things harder. It does. Now I can't, I can meet that challenge, I'll just be looking out at the windrow all the time, out of the window, so it's not not a problem. But it's all swings and roundabouts, it is. There's, whatever we do, it's going to pretty much cost probably the same. But if I go for a 30 grand proper baler, then it does mean I've then got to double handle them and stick them on a trailer as well. This one is almost like going for a forage wagon, but it is more reasonable than the forage wagon at 30,000. It should. Now it do, I, I put this into bail configuration on my test. Now I can actually make this bigger and we can put the sides on because it does handle grass. But I'm not sure it's going to work with bales. Now the bale trailer it drops off the side because it's it really wants side so i think we're probably better now we haven't got i did put on the test i put the and i'm going to do the same again we've got no repair point so i'm going to go back this is money is tight so i am going back to my old faithful the toolbox mod i absolutely do love this and it is fantastic so we're going to stick that right next to there Yeah, because it's got quite a decent thing as long as you... Right, so that's that sorted. Now we're going to reconfigure the back. Are we going to get the everything delivered and it cost us? I don't mind doing that. Yeah, because this is slow. I'm, it's more about how awful this is for me to run up for lots of people. Although, do I need to run up for lots of people? No, do you know, but it's, let's go up. Right, let's customise you. Yeah, we're going to do that. That is obviously for, I think that is the most, the 14780, but that should be probably. Right, okay, let's drop you and let's go and get the baler. Oh, the other thing is we need to customise this. This is five grand as well. So all that we're doing is going to cost us roughly 20,000. And I did test it, so but I, this has got to be. It, it's it literally um, crawled around the field if it was on the 59 horsepower. So it, uh, we did do well. I mean, it is to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it still only cost 15,000 for an 81 horsepower tractor, which does make it slightly faster as well. It gives it, I think, it's two kph or something. So it is, it's not. It's not a little whip it, but it's not terrible. We aren't far, yeah, 34 kph. So it's not as fast as my normal tractors, but we are only a stone throw from the shop. Otherwise, I wouldn't subject you to this. I would literally have store deliveries. Because, yeah, but we aren't, well, it's, it's, yeah, it is a little bit sort of here, but yeah, we should chat. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a time lapse and grab the bales. I'm not sure now. The one good news about the Omatana is, which is one another reason I like it, I didn't I didn't know I was going to go bales, but I, and I was only going to do this when I went and did the test last night. I was thinking about the double handling and putting the bales. Now this is probably still not perfect. There's going to be the odd one 
that probably does drop but we all know that I can do these by hand because of the small bales so yes it's the forshrit is the one that I am going for yes it is the, my weapon of choice uh, doesn't mean to say this is going to be perfect right, I need to remember ah that's right we are it's in between these pictures here somewhere right smash it so we need the baler I put this in specially. I went looking through everything last night, and I thought, and then I literally did a test a few minutes later. So I couldn't rest. I wanted to just. He says, "Oh, don't tell me I've not ticked the box because I didn't save it." Of course I didn't. Right. Excuse me for one moment. Right. Let's try that for size. That should be there now. Yes, I did load them all, not just this one. There were two or three choices I did of the... Yes, here we go, the K454. Right, try to touch type. It can be trailer. And we want the trailer attacher for that. And we're going to keep everything as is because, yeah, this is... There is the Laylee one as well. This one has got the option to stick the thing on the side. I don't know if the Laylee one has. It looked like it went only, yeah, drop them off. That one looks like it has, but it is dearer. This is a 50 horsepower. And the Laylee's 51, so they are, yeah, much of a muchness. It's got the attacher, so that should be everything okay. Let's attach this. Now, can we... There's a point. No, I'm not going to put that on the three points. Because... No, that's going to be too tricky. It is. I was going to say, because you can stick... This has got a, a trailer attacher on the front, but it's going to be too tricky to do that. We'll come and grab the uh, fertilizer spreader at some other time. Right, that's, yeah, it seems no nicely when you unfold it, of course, then that's a different matter. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't, on 50 horsepower, yeah, you can feel this, even just pulling that is quite an effort. Not saying this is going to be perfect. If we drop half a dozen bales, it's not going to matter because we can handle them. That's the beauty of this. Not, yeah, I'm not expecting perfection, but I do think this will work well. Whoa, we said that well. That is if that's a sign. That's going to say I thought oh, I should have been okay. that why am I that's got a collision when it's not got a collision I mean I'm not literally not hitting it but I am it's got a hidden an invisible collision and the traffic is now gonna be in my way right I'm gonna do something I wouldn't normally do let's yeah, let, let's go approach this from another angle so we can pull immediately to the right and attach into the attacher at an angle. It depends how bad the collision is. Oh, and of course it pulls it straight to the right. I don't believe that. Gordon Bennett, what a palaver, right? I'm going to have to remember that. You need to pull heavily to the right when coming down this little side road because there's a hidden collision. Right. Tick. Right, yes. These are the rules challenges. I always. Oh, well, let's, let's shut that gate as well. It's only fair. But being as it 
was me that did it when I was wandering around the map. Right, so let's get cracking. No, I need to pull the light to the left. So I'm not. I'm going to leave the outer things. We're going to get cracking straight away. I'm going to go to a time, and then I'm going to windrow the last outside bit. But this is more, yeah, proof of concept, really. It's those sheep. I'm not getting hungry. Well, really, let's be honest. They would be eating the grass, but even the piles of grass that I've got there. Yeah, so, but on paper, so far they haven't. Yeah, we are going to go straight through the gates. That is quite narrow, that is. Now, I don't know why, but the gate doesn't work from that side. It's, it's, it's almost like the open animal dialogue box is, yeah, is in the way. It's the best that I can manage. But when you go inside the gates, they always open. That's something I figured out last night. So heavily to the right, lefty. And then we need to unfold. Shoot you. Drop you. And then let's go and get. Yeah. Now do we should we just you know let's let's windrow the air windrow again and just join them. I think it'd be easier. I'd sooner get it done than something when we're... Because it's not going to be perfect no matter what we do. This We're going to be dropping the odd bail and stuff like that. I don't, this is... Yeah, this is more a labour of love, really. Why? Yeah, it's attached. It's really difficult to actually get to. That should be central, though. that of course right in the way. Ah, forgot this works, you don't have to switch it on, it just works. Let's go just, just beyond that. Now, let's pull that out so we can go in. Yeah, it's going to make this, that one quite big, I do realise. Right, anyway, I did promise I'd go to a time up, so I'm going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
now I'm not sure what to do now we feel this because my plan didn't work yeah it really didn't no it's the grass bales normally are accepted by the Omatana but well, these ones are not yeah these are not accepted they are unknown obviously this is a problem of game mechanics again this is the unforeseen things you test but you don't always test necessarily everything I'm unsure whether we can, can continue with this I'm not afraid of the hard work I'm not it is a little bit daunting but I've sort of got into the swing of it I think I could do that it's the fact of Yes, I could say, or imagine I sheeted these over, but the bottom line is, it doesn't look like I have, because I can't, so the game mechanics won't allow me to do that. So I'm unsure, if I bought a normal bale, it would be dearer, but then I've got the problem of stacking the bales with a normal bale, so it's, yeah, it is a little bit, I'm unsure as to what to do, can't afford a posh baler we could only afford a, a small one anyway this has got a bale this is why I love this it's so first it has like a proper bale that's for grass obviously and it's working well it really is I'm not I could do that all day because it's a it's almost like having a forage wagon you do I've worked it out 15 bales and it doesn't really struggle yes the odd one drops off it really does and then obviously I'd go around and put the bale trailer proper bale trailer configuration and I'd handball them on and don't even need to be tidy because I've tried it I've tried to be tidy and it takes 10 times longer I did that on Adels over and I did the little massy with the little square bales and it tra takes forever so in the end I just used to handball them on to the trailer as messy as you like because yeah it is what it is you can't break you've not got time because of game mechanics in real life you just handball it on and it'd be easy but it's the rotating it's again game mechanics that's literally defeat you so you've got to work within the set of rules that we've got in the game obviously We've done an awful lot, but there's an awful lot left. And I say there's all of these dropped bales. Things don't quite work out. We, of course, we couldn't afford a proper setup anyway. We really couldn't. Um, so it's the what is getting me. It's only the fact that we can't store. I've got nowhere to store these. Can I, again, I don't want to really be losing any more of the field. This is the only bit at the top, but we can actually stick things, and it's very uneven. So even if I put a small shed, it's going to cost us an arm and a leg, and not going to be very realistic. So I, I yeah, I'm unsure as to what to do. This, yeah, we've not got that much room here, so I don't know whether to have to work. With what we've got, in other words, FS22 so far doesn't destroy grass off the fields. I can't, I can't do any better than that. It is, yeah, it's down to game mechanics really now. So I think what we're going to have to do is, as that gets down, we're going to have to grab the grass off the field. Obviously, I'm not going to fertilise. I'm not going to ruin the crop on the field. So I'm going to take a hit because when this grass grows again each month I'm going to be chopping just basic pasture grass with no kind of yeah if this is the way we've got to do things for a while until we can make some money from our selling wool to make clothes with our production we're also going to need uh, going to have to spend five grand on the bandaranti this can obviously go to a bale trailer it's I'm not going to water load at any point not this is all we'll make this into a bale trailer we're also going to need a weight if we're going to do that and a hefty one at that we really are although the zeta can't necessarily handle a, a hefty weight so if we know that let's the one thing we are going to do is we're going to go and grab all that we need from the store put the front loader on So ever so finicky the game, you've got to be dead centre. And then let's also refuel. One good thing about that is it, it has a very small tank. So it takes seconds to fill, but it boils it get down the tank quickly. 
Yeah, so I apologise. I'm working within the realism rules I possibly can. That's as best as I can do this. This is another, yeah, this is all hemorrhaging, which is usual. You expect that. It's just that I'm used to having a, a safety net of a tick up each morning, and I think we're going to be taking a loss each morning of however much it costs us for the farm and the H2 studios, all that type of stuff. And yeah, so we've got the trailer to take the clothes to the sale point. That is a point. Where is the spinnery on the map? Farmer's market, supermarket. Let's have a look at the sales. Right, no, that's not. We are looking for clothes. Who buys clothes? Supermarket, all in one production. Ah, now where are you? Let's tag you. Now let's tag you. Let's have a look on the proper map. They look like coming in here, but ah, isn't that down in the farm? Ah, it's, no, it's not. I got a minute. That is right near us. Isn't it? Oh! The all in one production. No, it doesn't sell. It is. Yeah, no, it doesn't. So, where's my bad? Yeah. Because that's ours. <laughs> we can't sell it there. Right, so the supermarket is the only. W well, that is up. Yeah, so. I've seen the price, it goes up as high as 18 grand and that is in May. We will be going for that type of, yeah, so we're going to be literally grabbing our product like you would do and we're going to be sticking it to one side and that is what we're going to do. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to speed this, keep this as fast as possible. Obviously the work itself is going to be slow, we know that. There's no way I can speed that up, it is what it is. Months after that, we're going to speed through the months as and when we need to. Right, so for a loader attacher. And wait. Yeah, this can't be avoided. I know what I'm going to go for, but I don't know what size. Right, okay, so front loader, we've got to go for Bandarante, it's all we can afford. Oh, I don't want to go too low, too big anyway. The Bandarante is put, it's, it's a, got a funny. Front loader, Mr. Smith. Front loaders. It's not got such a range as the quick. It is cheap and cheerful, and it really is cheap and cheerful. Yeah, it's it is. We are going to buy it. It would be foolish not to. Yes, and we also want front loader tools. I'm not sure to go for the. This is, this is where you get caught. I'd like to, the big bag which is brilliant, but it doesn't do, it's not going to do, well it is going to do pallets. I would also grab lots of different things, or as a standard traditional bale loader. Yeah, that's a big bag lifter, that's not, I don't know that that has, yeah I think that is just traditional, not like the winch, so... Yeah, I'm wondering whether to go for a bale for not that particular one, but I was wondering whether to go for one or to go for my tried and tested. I will show you. There's that many much stuff in here now. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I love the sapphire. If it was just a bale fork, that's brilliant, and it also doubles up as a um, pallet fork. Strangely enough, I was thinking of going for the. No, it's not the universal bucket. I was thinking of going for the self-made bucket with forks, two tons limit, which for this little thing is probably enough. Also does a bale fork, but it's not doesn't double up as a pallet fork. If I remember rightly, it does weird things if you do that. But then you can get a bale spike, and how much could you buy? But yeah, I suppose you could use the universal. It's the best. Again, we we are going to have to do. I think we'll stick it as black as well. We will. We've got to go as cheap and cheerful as possible. So we now need a weight. And I'm gonna I know what I'm gonna go for. I'm not sure. Yeah, a lot this is 
And this is not for cheapness either. This is for versatility. This you can put to different weights. I would like the rattling, but it is for this let's play. It is expensive. Now this one, you can. Yeah, I'm going to do. I know it's costing us a little. Oh, it isn't. I've forgotten. Right. I think if we go max, that's the max. I think that's too much. But we can. It's. Yeah, if we go. I would say it'd be more like a thousand. Well, you can only go to that. Alright, let's go to 2100. I think I'm probably going to have to knock it down if I'm honest. Right, let's stick everything up. With the weight of the front loader, we might get away with it. That's all I'm going to say. Might. Okay. Oh! Yeah, you know, you've got to, like, buy the front letter attach it, Mr. Smith. Come on now, play the game. Now that he is in here somewhere. I remember seeing it. Repair and customise front loader. Have you not taken my... you haven't. Some of them take your options off, don't they, when you come in. It's all money going out, it isn't it not? Right. It is, but it's all the stuff you need for the farm. And so it's got versatility, it has. We can get the loose up with the bucket as well. We really can, so it's not, yeah, it's not a waste. Now then, moment of truth, is that too heavy? Is this weight going to do weird things because we are only small? Do we need to knock it down a little? Hmm? No, I think if we dropped the front attacher and the bandaranti, I think that would definitely... Yeah, in fact, let's try it. So I think we're going to do a nose dive. Okay. No, we're not. It is leaning heavily backwards, but it's behaving. I think if we went for a, a three and a half ton of jobby, I think that's when we'd see a struggle. Right, let's put those spikes away. Beauty of this thing. And let's go back to the farm. Right, then remember we need to swing. Mind you, we've not got a trainer on this time, so we should be alright. So, 31,826. Yeah, so please forgive my realism in every other way, because, yeah, this is not. I wonder if we could stick a few loose bales. Mind you, know, it's got bale trailer configuration, that's what I like about the PTS. It's such a versatile trailer. If it was not. I would actually go for my other favourite, which is the TPS-1. That is fantastic as a bale trailer, but only as a bale trailer. That's its only purpose, it really is. Right. Smashing. So there we go. That is all stored for a little while. We shall... There's nothing more we can do. We've fully fed them. We have watered them. Let's just have a quick look. We have cut the grass. We can't fertilise at the minute because we have... Yeah. That works well, that does. I'm quite pleased with that. Smashing. I'm not pleased with how low our money is. Let's see what's tickled. So let's have a look in the menu, though. The right, the right menu, Mr Smith. Let's have a look in the right menu. Productivity, 10% water, and grass, 100% health, yeah. And of course, these aren't going to produce wool because these are youngsters. Yeah, we've had to buy cheap. We have, so let's go to sleep till tomorrow. What we want to do it till 9 o'clock. 
And we're at the mercy of the universe as to whether the grass dissolves or not. I'm not sure if that has been brought... Oh, and of course the rain and all the rest of it. If this was FS19, we'd be yeah, losing grass or lost grass. Although, yeah, I am also even under FS19. There were limits to that. Yeah. Okay. Is this losing windrows? How much food have we got in there? How much are we losing? Oh, wow. We're talking like minimal. Can't even take the bales. Right, let's just grab some of these loose ones as well. Are we running? Yes, we are. It does not like that. Yeah. Let's knock run off. Three speed, should I say. Not run, because, yeah, it will allow me to run run. Right, if we leave that outside, and we'll grab another couple. And we're just going to cycle through the months. Now, 31,004, I never saw what deductions. I'm going to have to pay better attention to this water as well. I would imagine that's not going to go down terribly. We're going to have a look. Yeah, now we do need a bit of speed up. Now, leaving that there as well so that we can... Uh, how much water have we got? 70? Ah, again, yeah, we've lost 100 and something litres. Amazing. Yeah, but they're quite happy with that. Right, so we are going to... Uh oh, we do have some wool. So they do produce a little bit of wool. Absolutely amazing. Now then, will it allow you to sleep straight from 9 till 9? It should do. Thirty-one thousand and four. So how much are we losing every day? Four hundred and ninety-three all oh, my life. Gordon Bennett, eight hundred, nearly nine hundred a day. But how come we've gone up then? Are we actually we're not selling anything? Just check. I've got the productions correct. Yeah, we've only we've only got grass. Obviously there's nothing there's fat wool going in. But we're not selling. Clothes are being made. We're supposed to be storing, so we shouldn't really be making any money at all unless no storing fabric distributing. Oh, hang on a minute, is the fabric distribute? I don't own anything, and it's only distributing to my own things, but I should have in storage then some bit of fabric. Ah, well, it is it classed as a full pallet? Yeah, it's still there. Well, yeah, of course, we've not actually moved anything into it, so we're not producing anything as of yet. But our money's gone up. This is bizarre. Let's sleep again. Nine o'clock. Oh, yeah, let's have a look. You never know. It could be something very cheap. No, that's it is very cheap. But not to us, that's very expensive. And we don't have the horsepower requirements for that anyway. So let's sleep. And 9 o'clock is a good time. We shall look at the sails and weep because we can't afford anything. So... Ah, now that's, that is definitely going down. Right, okay. Let's check the animals. If they're going down at the rate that they were, they should be absolutely fine for quite a few months. Yes. Productivity 100%. Water 6. Yeah, it's going down very. Puberty 37%. So they're getting there. Grass. Again, marginal. Right. That's, yeah, we are feeding our animals and doing everything we need to do. just want to see if this business model is going to work because it should do even if we sold one ton of um, wool as in clothes then it should literally we should more than break even really and that's worst case scenario obviously we're not producing any wool this time here but this is allowing our pubescent animals to grow to full growth wow as if we can, of course, stay alive long enough that this 
yeah that's in another life yeah hope, hopefully in the future we will yeah be able to afford such things This is why I do like to have the um, placeables though, because it does cover your incidental costs. Yeah, I do think this sort of, to me, proves that my theory about that, even if it's not er about earning an awful lot of money, it's covering your costs, is truthfully, yeah. Let's, let's have a look, I just want to make sure. Yeah, we top up when we are getting re yeah, into the orange, I should say. No, none of this is of any use to us. The Claris would be very useful, but we've already got one, and it does what we need to do. Not as good as the Claris, but we can't afford eight pence. And we are absolutely skint. Sleep till February. Even you can we afford? But we have got our tractor. We have that is very good value, though. Yeah, it's only got a uh, yeah the two pullers though. That is good value, but again, it's yeah we don't need it. We are all good, right? Animals, how are we doing? Still plenty of water. Still plenty of grass. And still no more. Well, I would presume March they start. How are we doing pubescent wise? Oh, they are very close to being older than eight months can reproduce. So two more months and we should be good. Yeah, no, I did. I get confused so easily about uh, whether I've looked at the sales. It all blurs into one, I find sometimes when you're doing this type of sleep, wake. Yeah. started to produce because we know they did produce all last year they're all happy seven months so this eighth month should still we will top up the yeah next month and we'll knock the thing into so we should see some activity on the wall surely this is spring again Otherwise, I am going to start to worry a little. I really am. I did expect a year. Aha. That's two now. How much does that say? 100 kilograms. Two. Oh, three. Three. Oh, yeah. So three tons. That's not bad then. So, uh, yeah. If we go. Yeah, let's have a look. Reproduction 20%. Right, we're going to go another month. We've still got plenty. Yeah, we're not going to faff around. Shall, uh, May is the month we're looking for, so we need April. Which is it? I think this is April now, isn't it? That we are in. So we need to grab that bale and stick that into. Oh, this is May. So that means we're going to be past the best price. Well done, Mr. Smith. Right, okay. Let's see, am I right? Or I think you can sort of tease it, but I think we'd have to go. I can't remember which way is the best way to do this. I have done it before. Oh, it says as he. This I have never tried in first person perspective. Yeah, wow. That's gonna drop off. I've no 
downs. So we need to stick that in our No, it really will not open, no matter what you do, even in the middle. It's something to do with that open animal dialogue, I think. It is very funny, you've literally got to be exactly in the middle. And I mean exactly. Right, let's stick this on the production. Um, it should be okay afterwards. The sheepdog is going to make sure that the sheep don't get out of the field. Right. So, nearly four tons of wool. Smashing. Now that is a point that is going to start to produce. No, I think it spawns on this other side, the clothes. So we should be That is true. May is a long. Wow, that did do some damage. Are we going to be able to get the pallets? Right, okay. draw the line at the swivel axle one of this. It is a slightly better swivel axle but bigger capacity as well. Oh. Okay well let's stick these straight in there then I thought we'd got everything out. course we are. Of course we are. A couple of bales in fact. Now how come you bales are on the actual thing but you're not disappearing? Ah you're on the wrong side really aren't you? I did know that if you did that it's not quite right. Right, 30 tons out 46. Still good. all of these around as we hear. So, I thought there was another couple. Where were you? Nope, that's just grass. Is the grass dissolving? Because these wind... Ah, it's hard to tell, isn't it, when you've got so much new grass as well. It always makes it look different. I could have sworn there was a bale down here. It is. I thought so. Running at three speed, Mr. Smith. That's what's doing it. We have a bale that does not want to escape from the trailer. We have to persuade it. Smashing 31385. Let's go change configuration to bale. I'm going to take this to the supermarket. Let's have a look at the price because it should be should be at its absolute best. It is supermarket eighteen two nine five. So yeah. Well, I didn't realise if anybody else brought stuff that our place takes it. Obviously, we're the owner, so we can't sell. But yes, it's. At least our animals are now. Obviously, we paid cheap for our animals, and they are now mature animals. Let's customize. We want bale. Absolutely do. Yes. Right. So very small scale this year. Hopefully next year, our animals will produce more wool. That is. It is what it is. So we can have to speed through and hope that we get either May or that we do get some more 
Yeah, we should be keeping our eye on this because this is brand new to me. I have really no idea what to expect, when, how long it takes to produce clothes, or what. I really don't. Clothes to presume that really means yeah this is the sign that spawns just hoping that weirdness there I see if we can soften it even though I can really ill afford doing anything that's true let's leave it let's just leave it alone speed time up let's take this through and see what we can see close 5 10 30 right okay let's go into there I'm not sure that's going to produce at all time. He's very slow. I don't mean very slow. As in, I think by the morning you may be lucky. Which the price would not be at its best, but yeah, this is this is a, a wait all night job, isn't it? It really is. Right, it is. It's a sleep till the morning job. Right, okay then. That we shall do. And we have a sleep trigger, so let's go to sleep properly. And let's, let's, yeah, while we're passing, let's grab a bale. Yeah, let's make ourselves useful in passing. And then we need to shut the gate. Water. Yes, that is true. What are we doing water-wise? And let's put a bit of speed on. Water, 10 out of 18. Yeah, that could do with topping up. Let's go for it. Let's shut the gate while we're... Field. Food is good enough. Yeah, we've got plenty of food. The sheep are adolescents now. No prop. Yeah, full, full grown. Absolutely are. We're going to sleep through till morning and see if we've got any product to sell or whether we are going to be bankrupt in a year. No, we, it's, it is going to turn around. I knew this kind of business model. It's nice to see. We are producing. We've only just done that. The first thing this morning. Right, so it's sleep till June. I know the price is not going to be at its best. We're going to go eight o'clock though, not nine. Let's see. Let's go and see if we have got any clothes. I knew this would be a slow one. I knew that it's uh, yeah. I've done clothes on Western Wilds, but on a far grander scale. What have we got. Ah. Uh, then I thought storing, do we need to change it to something else? It's a long time since I've done this. Spawning, that's it. I presume it would wait an hour to spawn, and is it doing with a shoot shoot? spawning about now I would have thought right 
that speed time up for an hour. Go to mine and see what happens. Absolutely nothing. Now I'm worried. say yesterday to why we are hemorrhaging money and does it have to be more than that? Is it that the space is not right or what? What is the problem? Let's have, anyway, let's look at that. Animals are our main concern. Grass, we do need... Right, okay, yeah, let's, let's handball some of these onto this while we're here. I'm not going to worry about... Oops... I've already explained it, I've done this on Adel's home, and it's... We just don't have the time. It's the game mechanics make this very very difficult, even turning around. Mind you, slow down to normal speed, that always helps. Sorry, I know, I always do this when I'm concentrating. I forget, I've got guests and I get, yeah, ultra concentrating. I do, I do apologise for that. I'm a little bit worried, if I'm honest, that have I... Because this is not quite working to plan. I mean, if this is the first time I've done this, but yeah, it's still not exactly what I would call ideal. It really isn't. Typical when all of your eggs are in one basket. Are we going to change the rules? Are we going to say we can allow placeables just to take off the edge of the thing? We could do, I suppose, but we are actually. I don't know what placeable that we could put that's not. that would do. I suppose it is nice to try these things. I've always said that I thought it was a wise idea, and this is why in the first early days of FS19 I did it without um, placeables. Not placeables. What I mean is um, generators. Yeah, not placeables. Yeah, without generators, I always said, and it didn't have to be super duper ones. In fact, I could very rarely afford super duper ones, if I'm honest. I did one, did one. But it is, it just covers those costs, those yeah, production costs that we're seeing that are literally knocking us further and further down instead of us making even a slight profit or just staying breaking even in the black. I do think this sort of proves why I'm totally right about that, right? Let's go grab the seat and stick that in. We've got plenty of water, haven't we, yet? have we got 54 so we should double to 100 and something but then of course we're going to need to put more food in but we've got plenty of grass it's the one thing about this model that is it is a grass field like we've got we should be able to hook up to that as well because this has got an attacher on the back
just going to try something. Does it allow you to put bales in there? Oh, I've got some grass up by. to something new you always everything that behaves swimmingly doesn't it your expectations are massive and things don't work out as to plan now well you are being a pain you really are So let's go and grab you off manually because you are annoying. And it won't let me grab it. Do you know, a pain to the end. No, it won't let me grab it again. It's really disappeared. Do you know? Come on, for heaven's sake. Now, it's giving me the hand, but it's not letting me do anything. Right, thank goodness for that. Right, let's unstrap this right in front of here. No, you didn't do your straps. Dude. We can at least do our job right, feed our animals, <laughs> the rest is out of our hands, seemingly, yeah, I seriously do think I'm going to have to try to have an old contact in the telecommunications business, and I think we're going to have to contact, even if it's just for covering our basic costs, yeah, I mean, we've, we've got no money to buy anything special, but only costs... Well, actually, this is us making an agreement with the telecommunications company for them to um, put a, an antenna on our land. And it does bring in a little bit of money, which pretty much cover our incidentals. And that's, yeah, I'm not... Yeah, it's more about covering the minuses. It's our business model. I'm, uh, I'm eating grass myself <laughs> to, to save money. No. My uh, parents live close by and they are having mercy upon me because they know my plight. So let's put it that way now. How much? We are not producing much wool. I would have thought by June we would have done more than 1,026. This is really very worrying. It really is. I mean, our animals are all fine. The water's good. Food's good. Wool is terrible. Right, okay. Could put that one in there. That might tip the difference though. It may, that is true. We do need to... Let's drop that off. And let's... Put the spikes out. Let's open the gate and let's go and get that ton of wool because it might be enough to, I don't know, if perhaps it's 1500, it might be, I'm 
that does somehow ring a bell. Perhaps it's that we've not quite got enough wool to produce the... the, the oh, do you know? Come on, Gates. I've got enough against me without you being awkward. What a Bennett. Precise or what? Now we're coming straight back, so... time when the other perspective would have been useful. Yeah. Ooh, why? Yeah, because it's very difficult to... This is another thing where the big bag winch would come into its own, if I'm honest. You know, there are times in life where you feel like the world is against you. Do you know that that's about now I would say. Yeah, this this is really not being kind at all. In fact, yeah, I feel like the entire thing has not been kind. Right, we need to lift that up, that's what it is. Our angle on our true we do have we can act, we have eyes. We can actually still look. Far off at that. Yes, smashing. Careful. Very careful. So a ton of wool. Will this make a difference? I would say it's two to one. Looking at what we've done, we bought three tons and we've got just one ton and it says materials missing so this is another ton which would go to half a ton if I'm right let's look at the recipe let's not guess I realize the price is hemorrhaging yes it is so we've got 1885 let's have a look at the production and tell us what is the recipe when you put all in Yes, it is half. 60 produces 30 fabrics, so... Yep, I am totally right. But we are going to... I'm going to speed time. Are we close to... No, it's going to be asleep till the morning. We're losing... Right, let's, let's be useful. Let's grab that bale. We are on standard speed, so we can run won't penalise us. We're all right for water. We're going to be selling at the wrong time of the year. I do think we're going to have to make the call. I do. I th it do this just proves sometimes I think it is nice to go back to why we made the decisions we made in the first place. And I do think I am spot on right. I did this for this very reason. So, let's give them a call. Let's see if they will... They need a tower in a village like ours, because I have to say, well, they probably do. 480 per month, that's not really going to solve all of our problems. Let's let the... Ah, lights that away. Oh, right, will you flip around? So I'm thinking of them getting in that door. Right, so are we going to stick... They put it's 980. That's 648. Between the two, if we did that... They're my favourites. And it is when it says that, it isn't literally being true, true. Right, right, that is it. Two placeables that should just about mean that we almost break it. Maybe make a very slight profit, which right now, this very minute in time, sounds quite good to me. Right, let's sleep. Gordon Bennett, 8 o'clock. 
Yes. We don't want to be wasting any time. And it was fed and watered. And probably about to give birth, if I remember rightly, on what I saw in the menu a minute ago. We may have some bairns, some little sheep. have a palette of clothes yet is what I'm wanting to know. your expectations are bigger than yeah what, what happens so luckily for us we've got plenty of grass <laughs> plenty of water we have a well on the uh, land that's not costing us so we've got got plenty of grass windrows to get and the grass has grown again quite a few times over let's go and grab that wall and we'll see if this time this is the magic number and we'd also see if we did have births because I'm sure it was ah this has got the yellow rod on hasn't it for, you, for gauging your level that's for the bandarante isn't it so that is about level then for the bandarante itself not for the spikes and of course we have all the rounds Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't knock it. Don't knock it. Ooh, let's tilt as much as we can. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Gently does it. to just rely on our telecommunications contracts to tide us through. Also, 32 out of 16 tons of water. Yeah, we're doing alright still. Okay. Did our animals give birth is what I'm wanting to know. No. Uh, it might be next month looking at that. And I'm not even bothering looking at the sales because there's absolutely no point. Let's look at my costs this time. Let's pay a bit more attention. 518. 9 somewhat. See, even though what it says on the thing, we'd only just. Well, actually, we lost. We did lose again. 1300, that is going up slightly. We should have births. We have got births. Smashing and water and food we need to do. So let's. As a point, we could do that. So it's true. I'm just thinking of the. And we have got some loose bales actually, so we could be clever and grab the bale trail and just grab some off the field. We've at least got enough to do one. But let's look, have we got a...
So it's to the right. So means we need to go on the right hand side, dangling over the thing, and that should be very clever, drop them straight into the feeding trough. Let's have a look. We are going to use our very own eyes to see if I'm right. No, we need to be a bit further forwards, I would say. At least about there. Didn't mean to hold you. No, a little bit more, even still. I should say that should be not far off. Yes, that looks about perfect. No, that's not the right button for that. Okay, I'm going to need to unload Baylor. I love it when a plan comes together. Now that, that was quite nice. It really was. Right, smashing. Switch you off. And let's drop you off. We're going to go and grab some bales off the field. We are and also water. What are we doing with water at the minute? Plenty, really. They're only drinking a few litres a day. This is not going to what I considered the plan, if I'm honest, but then new ventures rarely do, so c'est la vie. Just got to get with it. We're at least not hemorrhaging money, we've got that con our contracts, we've got a wind generator, and our contract with the uh, cellular company to bring in, and, yeah, to keep the walls from the door, you could say. It's, I had to change my plan, but yeah, plants do have a uh, habit of being changed for that very reason. I'm going sort of here. I can see it's just. At least I think I can. It could be the actual windrow, but I'm sure that's sort of bail. Nope, I didn't. I can up here. I do know there's a pile of them up here. This is where I went on that first attempt where I'd got too many and I wasn't sure of how many bales you could actually stick in. There was one at the back, if I remember rightly. Yes, there was. Stick some of these in and also do the water while we are doing our rounds. Session, we may need to do some more grass cutting. Although, we, I know the wind, yeah, that's true. We've got plenty of windrows actually from last year. Somehow suspended on something. Let's stick this one in the uh, actual back of here and then strap it down. Right, okay, let's go do that. Let's chill that. Let's put these in first. We may lose that one, it seems a bit wobbly. any of our lambs or our sheep over. At least we've had some bursies. That's it, you've got to look on the bright side. I don't mean it funny. These things very rarely go the way you 
this might be too. In truth. Smashing. Now. Oh, you yeah. showing me the bales at the back, of course you are. That's a point. Can we actually still tip that as in the bale trailing configuration? That's what I want to know. I would have thought so. Let's have a look. It is still has the ability to tip, of course, so I would have thought that was fine. Might need to help these along. No, oh, not really badly. Smashing. Right. Let's drop that. Smashing. Water. No, I was right first time. They were already in. Oh, that's true. Let's do what we did last time. But we ooh, need to need to see where I'm going. So I think we're going to have to rely on our telecommunications contract. Why are you not popping? What is not accepted here? It was. And it really is. I think we need to go backwards slightly. I think it did something when... That is indeed where we were before. It really was. So. Let's try and tie it up a little and changing. Right, well, we're going to have to hope that it's, it's kind to us in a day or two. We're not desperate for water, but that is a little worrying. This certainly is playing up badly. Right, let's go through till tomorrow morning. Yes, this is certainly not going how I envisaged. We got. Is that small? That sort of all up and done. I should at least have had 500 litres, surely. Okay, we're going to sleep till morning. We're going to take double because I am. This is rather confusing. And we're going to go nine because it's September. Oh, of course, it's done that thing. Yes, it has. So we need to go to 10 and we need to move away for some reason. I don't know why. I just know that you have to. <sighs> now, come on, you're not playing the rules now. from the door. No, that's the, that's the best we've seen in a long while. That's two wolves. So actually, yeah, that's about... Oh, okay. So, well, the word disaster does spring to mind a little. Yeah, I'm beginning to feel that, that gnawing 
feeling in the pit of my stomach type thing. It is that one, isn't it? Am I on the wrong one? That is, is it that? on the right one all along. Actually. Okay, let's do this the other way. In case it's some sort of foible. We are very close to where we should be. I know it's not desperate. It's still not. really need to be right at the end as well. See, we're getting the start filling, but it's not actually... Yeah, we are right where we were. We really are. through winter. Let's go and grab the bale. Thank goodness that we did change our minds, that we were allowed to... I can't believe that we've been here a year. Over a year. A year and a month. Let's grab this. And we haven't had a sausage to uh, yeah. Now that's according to the Bandaranti, not quite level. That doesn't help me. The forks are not quite. That's not bad. So we're not far off of that. Mm, then I'd be wrong. This is, this is, I believe the word is a farce, which springs to mind. Yes, this has taken, this is the longest session I've ever done, and the, with the very least results, period. I'm beginning to think that sheep and me are, well, they were producing more wool every day, that is true, that's one seven. And... According to this, we do have four tons of clothes, but I can't see what we do. Will it allow us to change our mind and sell directly? Distributing, storing, spawning is what it should do, unless it really is the fact that this is not allowing it to spawn. Okay, let's go out on a limb. Let's see if it can be something as, as daft as that. It could be. I have 
know such things to or a candy beast if there isn't this physical space for it to do that I would say probably would ourselves back for this I think because yeah just realism do you know what I'm happy with that oh, yeah. right, so let's give that an hour I don't think this has got anything to do with it at all but you never know no right ok how are we doing food wise for our Animals. Twenty-eight tons of grass water is getting to right. I think I'm going to call it quits at this point because this is a little worrying. I think next session I'm going to come back and we're going to do some more bales and we're going to stick them in. I'm wondering whether to how many does that shoe hold? If that holds sort of about 10, why did you not come out when I said to unload? Yeah, then I think we could unload, if it's, it looks to me, about 7 or 8, 7 or 8 of those small bales. It's not a bad amount to just unload, to remove the attacher and try that. Just keep counting 7 or 8, pop it in, and then just stick them in there. It's not much different to what we were doing before, I was doing 15. Yeah, but then 15 is better than 7 or 8. Right, yeah. This is a problem for another session. Yeah, I am going to say I really do hope you continue on this journey with me. <laughs> if this journey ever sorts itself out. Yeah, because I am, I am a little... I am a tad worried. I really... I don't know why. Let's have a look. That's, is it me being silly? Or is it that close? It doesn't show you, does it? It doesn't show you how much... Clothes, uh, the clothes are at a terrible price, so I would be very stupid to sell. I think, as I said, we need to hang on until next year, and hopefully, all these problems will be behind us. Well, at least we have 108, and yeah, they're 25% through puberty as well, two months old already. We've got plenty of grass to feed them, and if our water thing works correctly <laughs> at some point, hopefully, yeah, we will uh, be able to rewater. <laughs> Otherwise, no, I won't. Even, I'm not going to say it. No, because that is in very poor form. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now. <laughs>